Every once in a while, we just have to say it. Focus. That's what I was thinking. Focus. Whatever. That's not rock. rock. Play with the devil, die with the devil. Now, back to good, wholesome, politically correct entertainment. Oops, <laughs> wrong station. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not this station, I can tell you like that. Uh, Motorcycle Madhouse, Morning Mayhem is in the house. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up today. We're going to be talking about some uh, Indians, the new uh, offering coming up, as well as Harley. They're really getting into this electric kind of stuff, man. No! Yeah, uh, uh, you know what? I'm real uh, like, wow, man. They're going full board into this business. Uh, what happened, Harley? What happened? Let's go to our first story right now. And by the way, we got the answer is B coming up as well as fact or shiznick later on, man. Anyway, new details emerge of the upcoming... Indian Pursuit, baby! That is the newest cruiser from Indian. My problem is they look like they stole the design from Harley! What's wrong with you peoples? You're supposed to be doing this stuff by your own creative being. What the hell's going on with the engineers? You're copying Harley on this one. If you're over on the podcast and stuff, come look at this. This is unreasonable. You can see it in the description box as well. Uh, many people consider Indian's offerings to be gravely underrated. You know what? That's why they got to get a dealer network. They're starting to boom, baby. A lot of people are going from Harley to Indian. And it's, they got some, you know, the Scout, come on, I love looking at that damn thing. I wish I never got a damn Dyna. That's what I have to say. Uh, it's clear that Indian Motorcycle has spent practically all its life overshadowed by the Milwaukee icon. Well, you're stealing from it now, the design anyway. Uh, it's a shame, really, as Indian bikes are actually pretty impressive. Yes, we need somebody like, en what is it, Enrico, to tell us that kind of stuff. It's a shame, really, as Indian's bikes are actually pretty impressive, especially from a performance perspective. I gotta say, you know, I, I believe that. I, I do. Uh... The only thing I don't like here, fast, loud, large, two-wheelers and with soul and flamboyant. Uh, not a way to describe a motorcycle, I tell you that, uh, Enrico. Uh, now, uh, Pursuit. It has plans of releasing a new model, that's the Pursuit. Has been trademarked for newly, nearly two years. That said, uh, at Cycle World... They have unearthed more details about the bike. As it would turn out, the upcoming Pursuit looks like it's going to be a full-dress tour, uh, complete with wind protection and luggage compartment. As the name suggests, the uh, Dark Horse... Uh, where do we go here? Uh, according to the report... Oh, okay, I get it. There's going to be two uh, variants, the Dark Horse Limited and Limited. Uh, the Dark Horse will feature a sleeker, stealthier motif with blacked-out elements and hardly any chrome. Meanwhile, the Limited will likely feature some fancier style with chrome, brightly colored accents, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be uh, having a 1766cc V-twin. Uh, it's going to have an impressive horsepower of about 121 uh Horse pounds, uh, let's see here, torque, 131. Damn, rock on, EC tuning, you know, tuning that costs you like 600 bucks at Harley to get your freaking pipes done because you don't want your warranty screwed. You know what, Harley Davidson screwing, motherfucker. Yeah, anyway, here we go right here. Uh, they're coming out with a different bike now, a more affordable one. Of course, people don't want to have to pay, pay $30,000 for a damn electric bike. 
Uh, now it's Livewire, actually. It's just because uh, they went to a different uh, company, a public offering and stuff. So uh, they're preparing to launch the affordable, uh, more electric affordable thing. It's going to be called the Livewire Del Mar and will be the first to use the Aero platform that we reported on a few months ago. Uh, a documented president to the investors confirms that this is going to be launched in 2022. Again, that is the Livewire Del Mar. So what, instead of 30000 you're going to make it, what, 20000 That's what you call more affordable, I guess. Who knows, man, with these people. Uh, the Hastings Valley Motorcycle Club is going to host... Host. Well, this is an old story, man. Oh, okay. The uh, King of MX Series first qualifier. This happened uh, yesterday, but it's going to keep on going here. Uh, more than 150 riders from around the state are going to vie for spots in the King MX Series with top eight riders in each class to progress to the state finals on June 11th through 13th. Uh, it goes on to quote uh, Harris that it's going to be an exciting year for motocross on the MNC, and it's going to be taking place between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday at the Hastings Valley Motorcycle Club south of Port Marquiri. Uh It's uh, free to spectate. Just make sure everyone abides by the COVID rules. And there will be a full canteen. Good stuff right there, man. It's already started. Uh, King of the MX series. Uh, I love their bikes, man. Just love them. They're, you know what? They're awesome, awesome, awesome. And they're fun to be on, man. If you ever get to see uh, Shade Tree Surge and stuff, uh, good stuff, man. I'm talking... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we're going to get going here. Again, I had to bring up some stuff here. We're going to go on to the uh, fun part. It's that time to show your intelligence. Guess the right answer on this question, and we'll give you a hint. The answer is B. Okay, all my hooligans, this, you know what? This game has been fun. Uh, we've done it in a couple other episodes, and we have it a lot on the podcast platform. So, the answer is B. The answer is B. Let's not get this wrong. In Alaska, it is illegal to A. Eat fried chicken without ut or with utensils, my fault, again. Eat fried chicken with utensils. B. No getting drunk in a bar. Or C. A pickle cannot be sold unless it bounces. What's everybody's answer? B. You cannot get drunk in a bar. Can you believe this nonsense? You cannot get drunk in a bar. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go back uh, to our news right here. And guess what? We now know what is going in to the old Hells Angels Motorcycle Club, Third Street Clubhouse. Uh, sad state of affairs here. Uh, article out of Eve Grieve, uh, you may now open a business in the former NYC headquarters of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. And it looks like it's going to be a high-end type of deal. Uh, they seen the arrival of the four lease sign outside uh, 77 East 3rd Street between 1st Ave and 2nd London Ave a.k.a. the former New York City headquarters of the Hells Angels. Lots of history there. You can actually go on YouTube and see uh, Hells Angels forever. You'll see this building all the way back then. Real cool. I guess there's uh, two retail spaces. 
uh, in space where the fellows had their bar and entertainment area and storage space. Uh, there's not much info on the KRS listing. There isn't any mention of the former occupants. There is also a very un Hell's Angel esque con uh, conceptual rendering of the place. Man, I bet them neighbors really wish the Hell's Angels were still there. They always make the neighborhood safe. Anyway, our main story for today motorcycle gang in the keys. Sheriff Ramsey has strong message for Payne's Outlaw Biker Club. It's funny. They say motorcycle gang in the keys, and then they say Pagan's Outlaw Biker Club. They can't get it straight. Can't get it straight. Uh, the Pagan's have been in the news lately in this uh, keys thing. Uh, an outlaw, they ask, an outlaw motorcycle gang in the keys, really? Yes, sheriff deputies have arrested three members of the Pagans Motorcycle and Club in the Lower Keys in the past two weeks. The erroneous apostrophe in Pagans is theirs, not ours. Whoa! What a dig, baby! Holy cow, what a prick of a story! All three suspects had guns, all three had drugs, two to twelve grams of coke each end. Man, it sounds like uh, one of them, uh, you know, loony leftists are riding this one, baby. Uh, but before you watch, oh my god, they even got the seven seasons of Sons of Anarchy. Sheriff Rick Ramsey describes the recent spat of arrests more as circumstantial coincidence than a concerted effort by the biker gang to infiltrate a small town. Did that sheriff just say that? Holy cow, circumstantial. Just like the circumstantial evidence that you pulled out of a damn garbage can that anybody could have dropped there, including you. Including you. A lot of things happened at once to make the issue seem worse than it is, Ramsey said. But added, all three recent arrestees, two of them are Key West locals, and one was in town for the Pagan's annual meeting on Big Pine Key, had guns and drugs on them, which means our guys now treat the group members as armed and dangerous. You always done that. Uh, it goes on to say, uh, the club has been coming uh, for years to Big Pine for an annual membership meeting, quote, there's nothing new. There's not an invasion of biker gangs suddenly occurring. Goes on to say, they stay at the Big Pine Motel, Key Resort, and Palmer's. They have a barbecue and recruit members, which is fine, as long as they're peaceful, and we generally hadn't had problems with them. Like the mob, outlaw motorcycle gangs don't want to draw attention to themselves or to any criminal enterprise occurring within them. And I do believe drug sales are a coordinated enterprise within the pagans. Oh, now you're going back on yourself. You were doing so good. It's organized crime and I'll give them as much attention as they demand. I want them and our citizens to know that they're not going to intimidate law enforcement. Put them on notice, damn. Uh, he uh, pointed out that the pagans are on their best behavior while they're there. Then why are you messing with them? Well, we have stinger spike strips along the highway every seven miles. I can get deputies positioned in front of someone long before they reach the mainland. If they want attention, I'll give them plenty of attention. We're the biggest gang. Oh, no! He admitted it! He admitted it! My gang has chapters in all 67 Florida counties, but my chapter presidents are called sheriffs. Holy cow! Holy cow! I gotta reach out to him to see if I can get an interview with this dude. This, <laughs> we're the biggest gang. Hey, 
fingers. You hear that? That came from a sheriff, you schluck. You're out there, are motorcycle clubs, gangs, and bashing on people and stuff. Your own boy just said it. I'll give that quote again. We're the biggest gang. My gang has chapters in all 67 Florida County, but my chapter presidents are called sheriffs. Wow. Then it just goes on and on. You can uh, read this uh, article yourself. It's in the description box. Holy cow! It happened! They finally admitted it! Oh my goodness gracious, man! <laughs> now something completely different. A vital part of everyday life. A fun place where fun things happen. Okay, Factor Shiznick here. The average sex session goes for 100 to 500 thrust. That's craziness, okay? I'm leading the movement BNG, which means blow and go. I believe a man should, say, you know, take care of himself, especially older men, man. Especially getting up there, you have a heart attack with these broads. All they want is sex, 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 sex. So I say, go in there, do a couple pumps, blow, and get the hell out of there. I'm not making so many good fans with women these days. Anyway, it is a fact. A 2017 survey of 38, uh, 3,836 people conducted by the UK-based dating website, SaucyDates.com, found that couples in the United States Stay in the game for about 17 minutes and 5 seconds. That's entirely too long. Guys, limit yourself. You got to learn time management here. 17 minutes is just way too long. That's, that's not a blow and go. A blow and go is about... Two minutes, three minutes, you get in, you get out, you get happy, bust a nut, and move on. You got to worry about your health here, I'm telling you guys. Ah, sad state of affairs. Anyway, coming up, we got a killer song, and then after that, we got China Doll joining us in the studio. She looking at me all pissed off like, you know, nah, rah, 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 rah. I'm telling you, blow and go, man. Anyway, we'll be right back. We're uh, <laughs> going to have some fun. If you want to listen to the second half, if you're on YouTube, download the Google app, baby, from uh, the Google Play Store, Insane Throttle Radio, or you can listen to it on our website, InsaneThrottleTV.com. Finally, go into Discord if you want. You go into the radio room. We're watching the room. People communicate in the whole nine yards, but I'll be right back. <laughs> 